Hey there, footy fans. Time to have some more footy fun with Footy Finn here and previewing week two, the semi finals of the NRL. First of all, just a couple of milestones I have to add. Finally, Footy Finn has hit 50 subscribers. Amazing. Thanks to um, Broncos X NRL Edits. <laughs> uh, you're the 50th subscriber. Big shout out to you. And then another milestone, raise the bat. Yes, 100 views. This is actually my third video to hit the century, but it's actually my first NRL video to crack that lofty milestone. The first two were actually rugby union videos from the Bledisloe Cup a couple of months ago. So amazing, amazing. As I've said before, the sky's the limit now for footy fin. And look, here I am, yes, I've got the Broncos, and this black shirt represents the Panthers. Myself and many others are predicting that those two teams are gonna make the grand final this year. Of course, they're both having a rest this weekend. They finished one and two, equal on points on the table. Um, and don't take this uh, black uh, hoodie as a sign that I'm supporting the Panthers, whatever you do. Um, but more on that later. So anyway, semi-finals, it all kicks off tomorrow night, Friday night, down in Melbourne with the Storm hosting the Roosters. Um, so listen, uh, these two actually fought it out in the 2018 grand final. The Roosters uh, came away victorious there. Just rotating my microphone here. Um, sadly, as I said, the uh, the Storm are missing uh, Ryan Pappenheisen, wishing him well for a speedy recovery. Likewise, Xavier Coates and young Tony Mapia, Young's actually his first name, is out. Um, in, we do have the likes of Justin Ollum back into the centres, to, as is Marion Seve. Remus Smith comes back in, but not at centre. He's on the wing, um, and young Fa'alongo, who, um, who starred um, in, at Suncorp Stadium, although he's on the extended bench, uh, so we probably won't see him. But look, the Storm are looking to bounce back, of course, after a very, very disappointing night out at Lang Park, uh, thrashing at the hands of the Broncos last Friday night. They'll have a point to prove and they will be better, no doubt, um, including their spine. Nick Meaney at the back there, Munster and Hughes. I did hear a bit of late mail that he, Jerome Hughes has an injury, but I'm not sure how accurate that was. Strong forward pack, uh, Harry Grant, a hooker there. Um, look, uh, pretty, pretty similar team apart from those few changes. On the bench, we've got the likes of uh, Big Nelson, Asofa Solomona and Tariq Sims. So a handy storm team there. On the other hand, the Roosters coming off the back of a gutsy win against the Sharks, but they're missing a lot of troops now. Um, JWH is suspended for being a grub again, uh, but plenty of other injuries. And from last week, uh, Billy Smith, Joey Manu and Joseph Suali'i um, are missing due to injury. Um, so let's see, what have we got? Uh, Paul Momorowski comes back into um, centre. He did a bit of time with the Panthers and also the Cowboys in the past, I believe. Corey Allen, the Queenslander, uh, in the other centre position. Um, who else we got? Brandon Smith, of course, returns to Melbourne where he um, he won a premiership and, um, and spent a number of, of years. They still do have a strong forward pack, the Roosters, and of course they got Tedesco in the back, Walker and Keary in the halves, so um, a good spine. Uh, but it's really just, um, uh, as I say, missing missing uh, those other troops. Whoops, have a bit of a minor malfunction on the phone here. Um, but uh, look, for mine, um, it was a great win by the Roosters last week. It was a disappointing loss to the Storm. Uh, but I think the Storm are going are gonna to win this one. Okay, so I'm tipping the Storm to win this. It would be an almighty effort if the Roosters were back were to back up last week uh, with a win tomorrow night in Melbourne. So my tip is for the Storm. And look, Saturday afternoon is the other semi-final uh, and the Warriors host the Knights over at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland. So of course, 
It's a, it's a, we only have five games left in the season. We've only got two this weekend. Um, come 6 p.m. Australian Eastern time, it'll all be over for the weekend. Very sad day. No Thursday night football, no Sunday night football. What are we going to do? Maybe have a think about the Rugby Union World Cup, although those games are on at bad times. But anyway, back to the league and back to um, the Warriors. Uh, let's see. Most importantly, the Warriors at the moment, I'm looking at um, team lists on the NRL website. Sean Johnson is named. Now, if he wasn't named, um, I would uh, find it a bit challenging to maybe tip the Warriors. Um, so let's see what I do, given that he's here. Um, who else have we got? Um, so Nickel Klockstad at the back, Dallin Waiteni Zedlesniak, two hyphenated names there, both very effective players. So Tamari Martin at 5'8", Sean Johnson at halfback, still a pretty strong forward pack, uh, Fanua Blake, Tohu Harris at the back, etc., etc. On the bench, the likes of Dylan Walker, um, so, um, strong, strong. So provided Sean Johnson is at peak, uh, you know, at good fitness and maintains that, they will be hard to beat. On the other hand, the Knights coming off that memorable, memorable uh, victory at home in their first home final in 17 years over the Canberra Raiders. And thanks, Knight Rider, for your, um, for your little um, uh, video there from Sunday night. Loved that. Check it out if you haven't already here on my channel. Um, so Kalen Ponga's there. Um, they are missing Jackson Hastings. So he's succumbed to another injury. And Lachlan Fitzgibbon uh, from, the, uh, from the second row there is also missing. Um, that will be a bit of a dent to them. But look, um, Adam Clune comes in. Um, others come in. Um, Lachlan Miller in the extended squad there. Um, Dom Young, of course. Gamble and Clune in the halves. The Saifidi brothers. Frizzell. Adam Elliott. Kurt Mann on the bench. A Queenslander. Look, this is a strong Newcastle team. Um, but uh, look, the fact that the Warriors, speaking of playing your first home final in years and years, I think the Warriors are doing likewise. This will... Um, this will be awesome for the uh, for the faithful over in Auckland, up the Waz. And listen, as I say, provided Sean Johnson is fit and on point, um, I can't see the Warriors losing this game. It was a massive um, emotional game for the Knights last weekend. It went into extra time. They didn't win it until almost the final minute of extra time. Uh, that will take its toll. The Knights have done awesomely. And I'm sorry, Knight Rider, that I'm tipping against your team. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, my head is telling me to tip their Warriors here. So look, that's it from me. Um, can't wait for the footy to kick off. We'll be sad by Saturday evening when it's already all over for the weekend. And then we'll only have three games left in the season. Um, but anyway, enjoy your footy. Um, please like, subscribe. Now that I've hit 50 subscribers, as I say, the sky's the limit. Uh, please comment, tell me what you think. And until next time, catch you at the corner posts. See ya.